Okay, so since the last part, I've changed a few things uh, just so uh, they would actually be uh, a little different than what I had before. Basically, what I've done is I've added two spotlights in here, and I placed them up here, and they're adding some specular to the scene, and they are they have target tags, and they're pointed towards the MP3 player. I've also grouped all of these objects inside of a null and renamed it to MP3 player. I've also created, uh, using the plugin Lumen Light, I created a Lumen Light light dome. And you can see here what that looks like. Basically, we have just a bunch of spotlights. There are 17 of them all together. And they're going to be pointing down at the MP3 player to illuminate it. And they only have diffuse activated. All 17 of these lights only have diffuse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through here and select all of them. I'm going to get rid of specular because I only want diffuse illumination with those. And these two lights up here only have specular. All right, now I've also changed the color on the front to more of a blue color. And you can see here what that looks like. I'll go into that. You can see it's a very dark uh, shade of blue. The red, green, and blue properties are 0, 32, and 43. So instead of having it white, I actually decided to go with something a little darker than that. And one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chrome and I'm going to blur it because I want more of a brushed, diffused chrome instead of this clean chrome. Now, you can see here the reflections in this are nice and clean and sharp and they look really good. So if we go back into this chrome material that we have uh, for our chrome sphere, I'm going to go to it and here in the blur offset and blur scale, I'm going to set all these to about 25. And we're, we may need to come back and adjust the brightness because you see the more we blur this, the more it's going to have these blown out spots. So I'm going to do another preview render. And now you can see it's given us a bit of a diffused look. So let's check this dial down here to see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Just checking to see if there are any blown out areas that might need adjusting. Okay, so that actually doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty good. I like that look. All right. So now since we've done that, now what we're going to do is apply the YouTube label up here to the top. So in order to do that, I'm going to take the material that's already on here, which is the blue. I'm going to control, click and drag over to duplicate it. Double click on it. I'm going to go to the color channel. I'm just going to clear that blue out. I'm going to go to load image and I'm going to, I'm going to load up the YouTube image that I grabbed off of the web. I'm going to go to load image. Okay, now I have that loaded. I'm going to change this view here from a sphere. I'm going to change that to a plane. We can see this a little better. Now the problem here is that we're going to need to add an alpha channel so where only the YouTube logo will show up, which means all that will have to be white and the rest will have to be black so we don't see that at all. So I had to do this in Photoshop, which took a few minutes to actually paint out some of this stuff by hand. So I'm going to activate the alpha channel. And I'm going to load up the alpha image. Okay, so now you can see what that alpha image looks like right here. If I turn the color channel off, you can see it's just basically a black and white image. And you can see that the white will allow the colors to come through and the black is basically uh, just going to make everything else 100% transparent there. So basically what's happening is the white is allowing the color to come through for the label. Okay, so that solves that problem. So what we're going to do is take this and drag it over here to our front. We're going to drag the selection tag down. And you can see it's looking kind of crummy right now, but we're going to fix that. Let's take the projection to flat. Get rid of tile. And we need to go to the texture axis tool. And if it's not showing up, it's because you need to click on the object as well. Now the little uh, texture axis will come up. We'll drag that up there. Okay, we're going to need to grab the scale tool and scale that down. And because this image was not a perfect square, meaning the resolution was not square. Uh, we're going to need to scale this directionally by hand until we find 
the right uh, proportional value that we think we might want. So maybe something like that. You don't want to go too wide with it, otherwise we stretch it out. So maybe something like that. And then we'll just scale it down just a little bit more. Okay, now we'll just do a little preview render here. Whoop, that was the wrong one. Click that. All right, so there, that, that's not looking too bad. We may want to take that up just a little bit. So let's go back over here to that material. Click the front. Texture axis tool. Grab the move tool. Let's just push that up just a little bit. Preview render. And there we go. Okay, so that really doesn't look all that bad. Now, one thing I want to fix here is if we're looking dead on, let's go to our front view. If we're looking dead on and do a preview render, we're not getting any reflection showing up from our reflection sphere. So let's turn that on. I'm sorry, not that one. That's the chrome sphere. We want the paint sphere that we made. And what we want to do here is let's go into this and I want to clean this up a bit so let's go back into it and I'll take this black and I want to be able to get a really nice sharp white uh, and black line in there so I think that's probably going to do it there alright now we need to take this and just rotate it so let's take this and let's rotate it in the H direction I believe is what we want okay now we're going to do another preview render okay now you can see we're getting a little bit of a reflection in there I want to go a little bit more with it that's too much there we go that looks pretty good okay so we'll go back to our editor camera uh, pers perspective view hide that sphere okay that's looking a whole lot better now alright so the next step of this is to uh, make some labels here or some uh, extrusions for our arrow keys uh, that we're going to make here uh, one pointing up to the left down and then to the right so a very quick way to do this unless you want to make a material and then make some more set selections is just to grab a spline here and we're going to go with, uh, we're just going to make our own spline. So let's go with a linear. And we just want to click and drag there, go down to there. And you can see here, we're going to need to hide that so we can see this spline. Just like that. Okay, so now we've made that. Let's go and put that into an extrude NURB, grab the spline, drop it into the extrude NURB. Turn our MP3 player back on, grab the spline and move it out. Okay, that needs to be adjusted some, so let's take that extrude NURB, go to the object, and bring that cap, uh, th that movement here, down to about 5. Okay, let's apply a chrome material to that. And then what we're going to do is take and go over here to our object axis tool. And we're going to pull this up so it's centered somewhere in the middle of our sphere here which that looks pretty good there we're gonna control click and drag down make sure you go back now to your model tool mode here and then we're gonna go to coordinates and we're gonna rotate this down to 90 gonna make another one gonna rotate that over here again gonna make one more Take that up like so. Okay, now we're going to click, select all of those. Just going to pull those in to about right there. That looks pretty good. And now when we make another preview render, 
Okay, the problem here is that we need to select all of these. Let's go into the compositing tag for the paint sphere, exclusion, and let's drag all four of these into there. Now when we make another preview render, now we've got our little dial showing up. Okay, so I'm running out of time, so it looks like we're going to be one more part into this, and uh, thank you for watching.